thank you so much for joining me today. Oh, Has the pandemic been affecting <clears throat> you? Have you been able to continue with your practice as customary? Um, I have to say business was as usual for me, um, mainly because I had broken my, um, my leg oh, about okay. two months before the pandemic. At that point, I was pretty much homebound and and so when pandemic hit, and of course it was an emotional blow and uh, tragedy for all around the world. But the thing was is that I was doing my life anyways through Zoom and through mm -hmm. uh, teaching and everything. And also, so when pandemic hit, we I switch. I'm part of a 440 gallery, oh, nice. and we continued to meet our as a group and as a collective um, via Zoom. Mm -hmm. And um, so. Uh, I will say, and then also I started to uh, really do Zoom sketching through life drawing sessions, which were offered and are still being offered um, all over the internet. Uh, Brooklyn Figure Draw is really where I go to. Wow. And, um, you know, we were, we were drawing models from all over the world. So nice. I tapped in to Zoom even more, even mm -hmm. further. And um, I've been able to um, keep a steady practice. I mean, just my own practice and right, and right. hope and will continue to do so, even though I am dying to get out more. I'm just really interested to hear more about the online sketching. It's really interesting. I've been able to um, f actually paint and because uh, normally when you go to a live session, it's, it's difficult to bring all your paints and your easel and your setup. You just yeah. go with your, your sketchbook and then you, you're sketching for two hours. But uh, mm -hmm. I, I have a pretty good setup where I work. And, um, you know, these models are amazing in their poses. And even if there's a foreshortening that's going on on the screen, right. I like that. I, I, I am becoming a bit more of an abstract um, in my figurative work. Uh, um, also, I have developed a whole um, a whole series of paintings on dance, and I had to pick a um, a subject matter, and I chose dance because I I love drawing the figure. I'm actually a figure drawing instructor, so oh, nice. with these live sessions of of the figure of the these models, and mm -hmm. and also pulling from YouTube videos on dancers, right. I the whole year was spent really painting the figure in dance themes because I love mm -hmm. that um, I love that subject matter right and uh, using the zoom sessions as just a further uh, you know information on mm -hmm. you know composition and and everything so here we are in New York and all over the states all over the the world actually um, drawing and having this really remote community because it's just it's a really great way to you know, start your art practice in the comfort of your own home. Uh, with your practice, uh, did you or do you fear that opportunities for sales have been affected due to the pandemic? So I've been able to sell a little bit off of um, off of Instagram, which is really surprising to me. But when it comes to you know selling the way I had two years or a year earlier, that's that's changed. Yeah, <laughs> and I don't want the brick and mortar to go away. I I really those are the we have a, a, a sweet little neighborhood gallery that really it's not it is about the art, but it's also about um, you know music and poetry and oh, classes. Beautiful. We yeah. teach classes there and you know, to keep something open for people to hopefully welcome them back when it's safe. Right. We want to keep that going. Where do you see yourself planning for the next couple of months? Do you have a roadmap for yourself? I have a, a workshop coming up with a, a uh, my kind of my workshop partner. We do mm -hmm. a lot of plein air workshops and I'm, I'm looking to start um, uh, pulling together an online workshop uh, for anyone who wants to learn how to paint either the figure or interiors or exteriors. As far as, um, a roadmap for my art, I really, I find that I'm doing my art daily, all the time, whatever is inspirational to me. So I keep that going steadily, right. but I'm also thinking about teaching more because I really enjoy it. And mm -hmm. And that's that's where my uh, car or <laughs> on this roadmap of life. <laughs>
kind of just sort of imparting what I know. That's all. Um, but Janet, thank you so much. Uh, thank you for sharing all of your insight and your experiences with us, you know.